This is the Ruger 1022 takedown. Now I love takedown rifles just because you can get a small package. I bought this years ago, back when I was in FFL, and I never shot it until today. But this is something that's in my go bag. Now I had laser sighted it, but I never actually shot it. So it's really kind of stupid to keep this in your go bag if you've never tested it. But that's what today is all about. Now I know what you're thinking. 22 in a go bag? Yeah, actually, it's really great for a go bag gun because of its size. The other thing that's nice about it is if you're traveling through a, well, let's just say a non gun friendly state, how many people are going to bitch about a 22? Now, to put this together, it's real simple. You take the barrel, put it in the receiver, pull the bolt back, twist, and that's it. You can see how sturdy this is. It's a very solid connection. You can't take this rifle down with this bolt in the closed position. You have to pull that bolt back. There's this switch. You pull it up and then you can twist it. And now it's completely disassembled. Now, of course, this comes with the standard 10 round magazine. But what fun are those? I've got some 25s. Let's get shooting. Now, I love 22s. They're so much fun. They're easy to shoot and they're definitely great to learn on. But they're practical too. Because when ammo is expensive, 22, if you can find it, is still affordable. Now, through this last ammunition crunch, I could always find 22 for some reason. Through the other ones, I have no idea why, but 22 just ran out fast. I guess this one, everybody had stocked up on 22, and it was always available. So let's look at what comes with this Ruger 1022 takedown. Now, it comes with a really nice bag. Um, there's two external pouches here, and you got some molly straps here, and even a hand grip right here. And you have basically a shoulder sling, and you can switch this to either side of the bag. It also has a lockable zipper. So with these two pockets in the front, you can do different things. This bottom one here has two individual pockets inside and that's usually where I put my cleaning supplies and then up here is just a regular pocket and that's actually where I keep the SR22 pistol um, I usually have that in a sleeve right inside that bag now if we open this up We have all kinds of pockets on the inside here. Now this one here holds the actual receiver. And over here, I keep the barrel in that outside one. And then in here, I usually keep like my 25 round mags. Now it's really tempting to take the receiver and put it in here. The only problem with that is you'll never be able to Velcro this shut. I really wish they would have given us a bigger flap here and just have the rifle and the barrel right here. And then gave me some, this big pouch for whatever else I want to do. Now, the other thing that came with this takedown was a rail. Now this rail is concave to fit the top of the receiver here. As you can see, this is already drilled and tapped for this rail. And you also got four screws to attach the rail to the top of the receiver. Elevation is pretty simple. There's nothing to it. There's two screws, and I'll have to put a picture up for you because I don't think you'll be able to see it. There's two screws here that you can take this wing 
and move it up and down for your elevation. You would have to drift this front sight back and forth in order to do any type of windage. It's a real simple rifle. It's nothing crazy, but it's really nice. Now, it did come with a 10 round mag. And of course, I have 25s as well. You can upgrade this um, to these 25s if you're in a state that you can do that and it's legal. Stock is all plastic. And again, nothing really crazy. But this is a really good takedown rifle for, you know, a backpack or, you know, your go bag or whatever. That way you just have this little 22. Other than that, that's all there is. Now that's the 1022 takedown. What do you think about this rifle? Is this the rifle for your go bag? Or are you looking at something else? Let's hear you down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hope you're staying safe out there. And I look forward to seeing you again soon.